I don't want to tell you how I'm going to make this uh, cutter plotter stand. I've um, four pieces of 30 mil square aluminium extruded by one meter long, and uh, that is going to be the basis for the frame. Um, I'll explain more as we go along. But what I need to do first is put some brackets on it. Back in a minute. Right, what I need to do here is put uh, screw all the brackets on to each, each leg to start building the frame. A good tip here is to get the angle piece, which you can buy from any hardware store. Um, these are approximately 50, 60 by 60. And the tip that I want to give you is to keep the edge level with this edge if you use a piece against it. Because don't trust your eye. and apply the nut and bolt. With this 30mm square it's quite easy to get your finger in there to hold the nut and use a ring spanner to finally tighten. <coughs> When you've done that, move the clamp so you can get to the other hole. Check that it's, nothing's moved. The nuts and bolts that I'm using is 5mm and uh, approximately 10mm long screws, more than ample for linking them. Again, will you tighten up? Alright, when you've done that, you should, have, should end up with four pieces with brackets both ends, like that. And the next part, next process, is to join them together using these. They are 40 by 20, and they will go like that approximately. So let's start putting them back together. Right now it's all through the foot, but this time the hole's going to go straight through. Of course, I can't get access to the nut from the end. So don't forget, right the way through. And this one. As you can see, we've got the bottom foot on, the top rungs. Now I need to set the distance apart, and I will fit in those rubber feet like that. So I need to measure across the distance between the centres of the feet. Right now we've achieved the stage where we've got our basic frame. Um, and now we're going to put the strengthening part on. But I must explain what I'm about to do. Because you can't get into the ends now, I've had to drill the holes and then open them up from the back. So 
I can get my socket wrench in there to tighten them up. So, next step now is to cut. Cross fans, strengthening fans. Right, cut all these off now. What I have to do now is clamp them in position and drill them through the opening plate. Right, as you can see, I've now put the centre column on, put the bottom top one on, now I'm just doing the bottom one. on there and then it should be finished. Speak to you later. So as you can see we now have a very solid and sturdy frame. The only thing I need to do now is to cover all this up and I'm going to put uh, carbon fibre film on it um, and actually fit the plotter on the top. I'm going to screw the plotter to the top. Most of the plotters now, they're just dropping in some holes and they can quite easily fall off if pushed. So I'm going to actually screw mine into this. And now for the final fitting.
and of course the last thing to do is to fit the rubber feet on the bottom. I know people have uh, casters on but I want it to be stationary, I don't want it to be moved about. These are the feet that were supplied with the plotter itself. I just took them off and used them on the bottom of this. And there you have it, a fully functional, very sturdy as hell, plot of stand. At a nice and height, so you don't have to bend down to see what you're doing to align everything. The only thing that I've got to do now is to put two pieces out here for support the, the roll um, but until I get my pieces of vinyl in then I won't know exactly where I'm going with that so that's the next project and as I say eventually I will cover it in uh, carbon fibre vinyl so it should look the business and that'll be another video. Thank you very much for it.